Help support our coverage through Amazon Prime. Get free music with Prime Music, TV, movies, and documentaries with Prime Video, and free games with Prime Gaming. For this and a whole lot more, go to PlugHitsLive.com slash Prime. All right, and with that, our next guest is here. Hello. Hi, Hi good evening, good morning. <laughs> yeah, it all depends on where you are, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Uh, so, yeah, my name is Julia, and I work for a company called Being. Uh, we're a little startup in Italy that we were born in uh, 2017. And so what we do is we produce urban beehives that have a chimney, a chimney-like uh, structure, okay. that the bees go in and out through into a bee box. So it's an bee urban beehive that has transparent walls as well, and a har honey harvesting system with which you can harvest honey without, con uh, without coming into contact with the bees so that's what we do and we also make iot devices that track the health of the bees inside of the hive with the help of an app so you can see everything that's going on inside the hive uh, inside the hive through the app on your phone okay um uh our our team has a has a good friend uh jessica who um who has a, a beehive she's been Hi. she's been doing this for about a year and about a week ago, she posted that she had gotten stung for the first time. Uh, oh, yeah. Hope she didn't and, have any allergies, though, right? No. And and she she admits that it was entirely her fault. She was not, you know, fully uh, fully dressed in the <laughs> yeah, in the yeah. outfit, and so you know, she knows it was her fault. But uh, <laughs> this uh, this you're you're saying has has like the honey collection and everything. Yeah, separated yeah. so she wouldn't necessarily have had to have been poking at well, an active yeah, beehive as much yeah yeah yeah. like uh, when you harvest honey you just have to pull the lever so basically the bee box it's consisted of two parts so the main part is where the bees actually live and the part on top is where they deposit the honey in small um small honeycombs so what you do is you pull the lever so the bees can go back inside the main box and no longer come into the top so you can okay. just take out the little honey pieces and yeah, and have that. But you do have to take care take care of the bees um, once a month sure. or so. So you do have to come into contact with that. Yeah. Understood. But you're not you're not having to to deal with that all the time in all of the situations. You've yeah, got yeah. you've got kind of that that collection process. Yeah. Plus you can see what's going on inside the hive through the transparent walls. So that helps That's a lot cool. as well. Yeah. Yeah. And and that doesn't that doesn't mess with the bees at all. They don't feel un uncomfortable being in a mm -hmm. in a transparent box. No, 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 no. Thing is, like okay. in nature, uh, bees they usually associate dark places with safety, but that's why usually they choose holes in trees. So right. that's why they live there. But since we have the bee box, like it's a beehive just with transparent walls that are usually covered with uh, wooden covers. So you just take uh. them off just to see what's inside. Got yeah. it. So it's not it's not always exposed. They still have that no, darkness no. to feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. So obviously we're at CES, and you said you've got uh, you've got IoT involved in this. Tell me about that. Um, okay, so the device itself is called Be Secure, and what happens is it's very very small, and it's placed inside of one of the frames in the main in the main box. So what it does, it listens to the sound of the bees and translates it into useful information for us. So also it tracks uh, temperature and humidity data, which also helps understand the health of the bees without actually having to, you know, open it up all the time because opening up the hive actually disrupts the bees from time to time. So it's better for them and for like easier for us. Sure. So. Okay. And and so you're able to determine the the health essentially of the colony based on the on the the sounds that they're making. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also the temperature and humidity because uh, usually the temperature in the hive should be around 35 degrees. So if something like we can see maybe when the new queen is born, for example. So that means we have to go and 
and see what's actually going on. So this gives like a indicator to help us understand them better and maybe go there and open it up and check if everything's okay. Fascinating. So where did this idea come from for you? Well, it was uh, Robert, uh, Roberto and Gabriela. They are the founders of this company and they founded it in 2017. Because Roberto, he is a generational beekeeper and Gabriele, he works in software development. So they came together and uh, they came up with this idea to help um, professional beekeepers um, make their lives easier and to also include the general public into the world of bees because it's really, really amazing. And with the bee box, it makes it so much more um, accessible. So the general public can also understand the bees more and also make it a little bit easier to keep them at home. That's, that's really cool. I know I have enjoyed uh, following uh, Jess's adventure on, <laughs> on this beekeeping over the last year or so. Did you have um, a regular hive or an urban, urban hive? Um, it's a fair question. I know that it's fairly small um, okay. and that, I believe it's in her backyard. So okay. I'm Come I'm going to I'm going to go it, it's fairly urban. <laughs> um, yeah. And does she live in the city or in the suburbs? Do you know? Suburbs-ish. Okay. Um she's in uh in like the F Fort Lauderdale area of of Florida. So I mean it's not it's not Miami, but it's not, you know, uh Waldo, which you shouldn't know because it's yeah, so yeah. small. <laughs> so yeah, I mean it's not it's not farming territory like we have, but it's not Miami with mm -hmm. you know a major airport and things. So you know it's kind of in the middle. Cool, and cool. So that's been that's that's been a fun journey for me. And you know, it's it looks interesting. She seems to be having fun with it. And I know that it's a a, a growing trend, right? Yeah, yeah. Lots of cities, they're taking on this initiative also because it helps the local pollination and it just brings people together also to beekeep. A lot of companies are also doing this. So, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because there's been, there's been this, you know, trend and we've seen news articles for the last couple of years about, you know, whole bee populations dying off. Yeah. Yeah. Also that, like it's, it's pretty sad, but it's not just the honeybees. It's also the wild bees that are in danger. So yeah. 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 Understood. So where, where in the, the process of this product are we, is it, is it available? Could somebody go order one or buy one tomorrow? How, how, how does that work? Um, yeah. Anyway, the bee box is available because uh, we did a crowdfunding campaign back in 2018, but now we are, we sell on our e-commerce on uh, okay. being.it. So we ship to pretty much all over the world. Um, it depends on the country. So, but to the U S we ship for sure. And to Canada. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so if somebody wanted to get involved with this, uh, how, how would they do that? How much does it cost? Uh, uh well, it costs here in Italy it costs around 600 euros. But uh, because it's including VAT, but if we have to ship it to the United States, it costs around 480 euros. So I guess that would be around 550 US dollars. Okay. Something like that, yeah. Okay. And so that, uh, what does that include at that cost? It includes the bee box, so the, the urban hive itself. But we're also thinking of introducing the IoT devices into our package, but that can be also purchased separately uh, for now. Okay. And mm -hmm. and that's also available now? In the US, no. For now, okay. no. Like only in Europe because uh, we use a 2G connection. So in this case, not in the US. Got it. Yeah. we've. I think we've long shut all of those down. <laughs> yeah. You guys were <laughs> past that a long time ago. So... Yeah. In fact, most of the carriers are talking about shutting 3G down. Uh, okay, we got to up upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, and so to find out find out more or to make a purchase, uh, you can email us or you can just purchase directly from our website, which is being.it, and we have it also in English. 
but also contact us directly and we will be more than happy to help you guys out or like uh, see shipping costs and etc so yeah Oops, sorry. fantastic well i i appreciate you coming on and talking about this it really is uh a, an interesting product and you know with having a, a connection between most of our staff and and the the process it made it even more interesting for us <laughs> yeah thank you so much for inviting us absolutely uh have a good rest of of uh your ces i know we're we're probably wrapping pretty soon but uh <laughs> enjoy yeah. the rest of the conference okay you too thanks bye thank you bye I hope you enjoyed that interview, and if you did, make sure you check out some of the more than 100 interviews we conducted during the virtual CES 2021 coverage. And of course, subscribe here on YouTube, hit the notification bell to learn when we post new content and when we go live.